Today, we are going to learn about appropriate technology. First off, we will look at the concept of appropriate technology. Next, you will be introduced to a very brief history of appropriate technology. Third, we will look at the fields in which appropriate technology is incorporated. Lastly, we will look at appropriate technology in action. Okay, first of all, what is appropriate technology? Let's look at the terms on the board. Technology with a human face. Alternate technology. Indigenous technology. These are all different terms for appropriate technology. So, what is appropriate technology? It is technology that takes the conditions and needs of the social community in which it is used into consideration. Appropriate technology increases the quality of life and fulfills the direct needs of those who use it. Moreover, it is often based on locally sourced materials, which makes it cost-friendly. Last but not least, expertise is not necessary to use this technology. Now, let's look at some of the most well-known examples of appropriate technology. This cue drum is a tire-shaped container that makes it easier to move water. The life straws in these pictures are straw-shaped filters that make water drinkable. This moneymaker block press makes it possible to create construction material without big-scale industrial equipment. Last but not least, this solar kiosk runs on solar energy, solving the problem of insufficient electric infrastructure. Now, let's look at the history of appropriate technology. The idea of appropriate technology first appeared with Mohandas Gandhi. During the Industrial Revolution, low-cost fabrics from England flooded Indian markets. In response, Gandhi encouraged Indians to make their own fabric. This was the first widespread movement that represented the idea of appropriate technology. Later, in 1973, British economist Ernst Frederick Schmacher first introduced the concept of appropriate technology in Small is Beautiful, a study of economics as if people mattered. He used the term intermediate technology to refer to the fact that this technology lies between advanced and indigenous technology. Although the idea of appropriate technology was made with third world countries in mind, issues such as the oil shock, environmental destruction, and inhumane labor conditions led to even advanced countries such as the United States to endorse appropriate technology on a national scale. However, the Carter administration, which actively advanced appropriate technology, was soon replaced with the Reagan administration, which advocated free market policies and a strong image of the United States. With the remasculization of American policy, government-backed appropriate technology declined sharply. Appropriate technology now remains an important concept in academia, NGOs, and social enterprises. Nowadays, the development of technology and stronger ties to official development assistance have led to the revival of appropriate technology. Now, let's look at the various fields in which appropriate technology is being incorporated. The first is water. With rapid population increase and the ensuing increase of demand for food, demand for water has also been rising. However, with overdevelopment and water pollution, the amount of water resources available is steadily decreasing. In the case of developing countries, their primary source of income is often farming, and so the stable procurement of usable water has a big impact on the livelihoods of the people and the economic development of the nation. In addition, developing countries have more trouble adapting to climate change and are more susceptible to natural disasters. The cue drum and the life straw, which we both mentioned before, are examples of appropriate tech. The next field is energy. Many people in developing countries are forced to stop their activities after the sun sets. Even in cases where they have energy, they often use fuel that produces gases which are harmful for the health. Therefore, appropriate technology is important in the field of energy as well. Let's look at some examples. The first picture is of a socket, which is a soccer ball that produces energy when kicked. At night, it provides light for children to study by, just like the repurposed school bag in the third picture. This school bag is made from recycled plastic bags and it collects solar energy during the day. The sugarcane charcoal in the second picture is made from compressed sugarcane and it does not produce noxious gases when used. 
The next field is health. With an aging population and more advanced technology, medical costs are also rising. Therefore, there has been an increase in the number of people interested in appropriate medical technology. This is a form of technology that apart from increasing the quality of life and promoting better health, is accessible to low-income families as well. Low price, stability, and effectiveness are three standards that this technology strives to uphold. Here are some examples. This mosquito net treated with insecticide is called permanent and it prevents malaria. Cell scope is a microscope that works when connected to a cell phone. Dry per foot helps people whose legs have been amputated to walk again and it is much more affordable than other prosthetics. The next field we are looking at today is food. Global warming, deforestation, an increase in demand for animal-based foods in populous countries like China and India, as well as livestock epidemics rising from a more connected world, are all factors that threaten food security worldwide. Appropriate technology in this field aims to uphold the three factors of food security, which are food availability, food access, and food use. Now, let's look at some examples. The pot and pot cooler is appropriate technology that preserves food and prevents food poisoning when there is no electricity to power a refrigerator. Spiral pine needle stoves use pine needles as alternative fuel in developing countries. Now, let's look at appropriate technology in action. A group of university students in Korea focused on humans rather than technology itself when they developed the Delight Hearing Aid. The developers selected elderly recipients of government-provided basic aid as their target customer base. Their efforts to create an affordable hearing aid resulted in the world's first standardized hearing aid for Korean. Other examples include MIT developing a smartphone-based ophthalmoscope and developers at the University of California developing a smartphone-based microscope. In Korea, there is also an appropriate technology seminar. This seminar connects several fields of appropriate technology with the places that need this technology. It also provides services to researchers of appropriate technology research teams and institutions. Moreover, it endorses communication and co-conducted research between researchers. It also supports appropriate technology projects. It ultimately aims to provide precise and multifaceted information. It ultimately aims to provide precise and multifaceted information and advanced scholarly discussion about appropriate technology. This is the end of today's video. Thank you for watching.